then the question then becomes again about proportion. I, I don't disagree that there's been a lot of bad stuff on both sides going back historically for decades. But if we agree that this was on a different level altogether, quite deliberately by Hamas, designed, I, designed you know to provoke... I, gonna, designed I'm, to, I'm, no, here's my I'm question. Be a... Let me ask you a question. Uh -huh. and, and the question, because the you, question? you raised it earlier about proportion. I honestly don't know what the proportionate response is. Uh, I, yes. I, I honestly don't. I, I don't. I've been watching the airstrikes so this week thinking... So what's your question? Well, I was what's asked... I would, well, I would ask you, if you were Israel, what would uh, you... If I was Israel. If you were Israel and that had happened to you, what would you uh -huh. think would be the appropriate way for the country to respond? I would do exactly like Israel did, kill as many people as possible since the, the, the world is letting me do it. I mean, I, I can do it because I can, you know. But the thing is, like, you know what, I agree with you. And you know what, I'm going to be even ahead of you because I see the question coming. Do you condemn Hamas for the atrocities? Yes, I condemn Hamas. Mm. I condemn Hamas. I condemn Hamas. Hamas is the source of all evil. They are reason for everything. And you know what, let's for a minute imagine a world without Hamas. Right. What will this word look like? Mm. Let's give this word a name, and let's name this word the West Bank. Hamas has absolutely no control in the West Bank. And this, since the beginning of this year, only through August, 37 Palestinian kids were killed. Mm. No music festival, no paragliding, no Hamas. Mm. Since the occupation of the West Bank, 7,000 Palestinians were killed. No music festival, no paragliding, no Hamas. Mm. I can go on and on and on and on. No, no, but you about, don't, you don't need to because in a, way, in a way you're preaching to the choir. I've, I've followed this crisis. Oh, no, for... you're not preaching. So the, the, the thing is like... I, well, in the sense I, I know, say, I know that what you're saying has validity, of course. Of uh, course uh, Piers, Piers, by the way, Piers, 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 I am at a disadvantage here. I can hear you, I cannot see you. Mm. I am in a claustrophobic room. And so please cut, cut me some slack and don't interrupt me and interrupt my point. Sure. So, uh, because this, this, this has to be fair. Understand. Uh, because if you want to only hear your opinion, I can just condemn Hamas and go home. Mm. I can do that. So, if you, do you want to do that or do you have a much more nuanced conversation? No, I absolutely want to have a nuanced conversation. I wasn't aware I was interrupting you. I thought I was letting you speak. Amazing. But... So, let's, I mean, I, mean I, would say, I would say I really applaud Israel for doing one thing that no military force in the world does. Because I heard, I heard Ben Shapiro and I heard Ron DeSantis and they said, they said Israel is the only military force in the world that warns civilians before bombing them. I mean, how fucking cute. That is so nice of them. So, because with this logic, if Russian troops started warning Ukrainians before bombing their houses, we're cool with Putin, right? I mean, okay, Habibi, you have uh, warned them, go invade, it's fine. You have done your job. I mean, the thing is, and I understand, all, and I also heard Ben Shapiro talking about uh, about human shield. So you remember my wife's family, they live in Gaza. So I asked them, I told them, when Israel gives you the nice warning, the cute warning, does Hamas force you to stay in your home so you can be bombed and use a, a, as, as human shield? You know, what, uh, Hassan here, uh, my, my, wife's, uh, my wife's cousin, he's a, he's, a, he's a loser, you know. He, he told me, you know, when I asked him, does that happen? He told me, no. The lying son of a bitch lied to me. I told him, you don't understand. Ben Shapiro and Ron DeSantis keep saying that Israel warns you and Hamas asks you to, keep, to stay put. So I, 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 I told you, he's a loser. He never kept a job. He even like failed in all of the interviews to become like a human shield. I, I, I would believe right. Ben Shapiro. Let but me let's, ask you this, Pastor. So let's go with that. No, no, no. Let's, no, no. Let me ask but you At some this. point, I must be able to if ask we, you questions. If we, it's not if a monologue agree, for if you, we agree, If we agree, if we agree that for the 14,000 casualties, I mean, who's counting, are human shield, does that mean that every single one of those civilians was standing, obscuring a military target behind them? Because that's a lot of weapons. I mean, Hamas is packing. No, of course it doesn't. It, and, and look, I, you know... It I doesn't, so, so, there, so there's some collateral damage. Lots of collateral damage. Yes. It's fine, yeah. You kill, you kill some to save some and then kill some more. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I agree. I would, let I me agree. ask you this. Again, it comes back to proportionate response. When the, world, yes. when the world decided it had to get rid of ISIS because of the appalling butchery they were carrying out, uh, yes. it did so by, by also killing, very sadly, a lot of civilians along the way by doing airstrikes yes. against... Places which but killing civilians ISIS are inevitable. So you my, said that in the beginning. My point is, once, it's, in, it's inevitable. Yeah, but once inevitable. Israel, we, once we, Israel we, we, has decided that they want to get rid of Hamas mm -hmm. and Hamas is embedded with civilian yes. population, 
I'm very concerned about yes. what's going to happen next. I've written a column tonight saying yeah, I absolutely. remember the Iraq and, and war, the which is, I opposed, I, right? I, I, I remember all this. So my question for you is... I know. I, what would be? What would you yeah, think would be an appropriate response by Israel to what happened? Well, well, the, these are years of disproportionate responses of Israel. Right. Did it solve the solution? Did it solve the problem? Did it, did it work before so it will work? What, what will be the surprise this time? What will be the twist that will make this work this time? What? What will be different this time? Yeah. Let's, let's assume somehow we get to a place, possibly at the instigation of countries like Saudi Arabia and others getting directly involved, where you get to a place where Hamas are removed, and I don't quite see how that happens without enormous further bloodshed, but let's assume they get removed. Let's assume that Netanyahu is removed from office, which I think is highly likely just from the fury of his own people about what they see as the defensive and security failings, plus his attack on the Supreme Court already causing huge polarization. Let's assume we get new leadership in both places. Could there still be peace? Could there still no. be a two-state no. solution? No. It can never happen. No, because Israel have already shown it's it's not about Netanyahu mm. it is the policy of Israel not to give the Palestinians their city it has always been there but what if you find leadership that understands you will not but why, you, why, why are you, you so will not do you not see there's any chance of doing that here? no not with Israel Obama af after he left office he wrote in his book the problem with the Palestinian Israeli conflict is that that one side is extremely powerful Mm. and one side is extremely weak. There is absolutely nothing to oblige that strong side to give anything. All over the years, Israel showed you many times that they are not interested in peace. Leave Gaza, forget Hamas for a second, the West Bank. What have they been doing in the West Bank? Mm. The illegal settlements did not stop a single day. No, they no. Are and, and, it's, and it's completely wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah but, 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 the thing but it's is, wrong, what I agree the, with you. But you see what they're doing in the West Bank right mm. now? They are creating little Gazas. Mm. They are creating little Gazas. Yeah. And uh, until they are like squeeze them, there was. There and is, it's completely wrong. There Martin. is a hilarious documentary called "The Wanted 18." Mm. It is like an Israeli-Palestinian co-production, and it tells about the incredible story about the residents of Beit Sahour. It's a Palestinian town next to the Nazar, and uh, they said they don't want to depend on the milk coming from the kaputs, mm. so they bought 18 cows, 18 cows, and. They didn't know how to milk the cows or have a cow farm. So, so they were like engineers and, and, and doctors. So they sent people to kind of like to learn how to do the farm. So they bought the cows and they started to produce milk and they started to sell the milk mm. to the villages. The Israeli authorities were not very comfortable. So one day the military government came in and said, like, those cows, and I quote, constitutes an existential threat to the national security of the state of Israel. You need to get rid of them. And the movie goes about like the hilarious attempts of hiding those cows between the butchers and the houses. And in one scene, the, a cow is actually running and the, the Israeli soldiers are like running behind it and they corner it and they corner it and they're about to kill it. And you know what did the cow say? You didn't fall for this. Cows don't speak. Yeah! <laughs> but you know, it actually said something. You know what did it say? It said, Hamas. But anyways. <laughs> But you see, this is the ideology of the Israeli uh, ruling party. They are not interested. They're not even allowing you to get your own cows. But this comes back to what you were saying at the start, which is about the hate on both sides. No, no, no. I'm not talking about the hate. I'm, I'm talking no, no, ab I'm... about this shining example that Israel won't tell the board that mm. we are like the Western world. We are secular. Mm. I don't know if you know this, but they're not just like secular, like, like Christians against their own Arab. I'm talking about like Arabs with Palestinian, with Israeli identity. Mm. I'm talking about them being even racist against their own people. 1950, Yemenis immigrants that came from Yemen and they were in the transition camp waiting to be transferred into Israel. Their kids were taken away from them and given to white Ashkenazi Jews and because they were not white enough. But Basim, uh, what would happen if a Jewish person went to Gaza? How can, they, why would they go to Gaza? And exactly. Even I wouldn't go to Gaza. Exactly. That's yeah. my point. Yeah, so, it, it's a dystopia. Who would? But like, I, but I'm just. So it's not just. It's, you know, you're but, you're but, raising but, points about Israel but, making but, out that somehow uh, they're as bad or worse. No, 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 no. But what's but, going on no, there? No, but Hamas I'm, has no, no, ruled no, no. over uh, yes, the Palestinians but, but in the most what? oppressive way imaginable. I, too. Absolutely, but you know what? Hamas never claimed that they are the only democracy in the in the in the right. region. They never claimed that they are secular. They never said that they adopt Western trends. And I they wanna... definitely, definitely, okay. they did not use that lie in order to carpet bomb a whole country. Okay. Now here, I want to say one example. And I'm going to leave you. All right. Israel, you think that Israel will like 
uh, by the way, the whole thing about the Yemeni children, mm -hmm. you can find it in the New York Times. It's called like the, uh, uh, the, the lost uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, children of Israel, uh, the forgotten. Uh, but even when Ethiopian people were immigrated to Israel, mm -hmm. Ethiopian Jews, mm -hmm. women then report 2013, that's not like 50 years ago. Mm -hmm. They reported that they were given against their consent and without their knowledge contraceptive shots so they wouldn't reproduce because they are the wrong color. Israel is, n is a racist, apartheid country that is projecting this shiny example of secularism and democracy for the people so people can accept whatever they do because they look at Palestinians as lesser people. This is the whole point. This is the whole point. And I would like to quote Winston Churchill. Mm -hmm. He had a quote that say, I don't believe that we have made a great wrong to the Red Indians of America or the black people of Australia because they were replaced by a higher race, a stronger race, a more world wisely race. This is, this is why Queen Rania is criticizing the West. This is why we here said like, where are your values? Because this is the crux of the problem. It's not Hamas, it's not Palestine. I'm gonna quote, it is people I'm gonna looking quote at us you. as lesser human beings. Bassem? I, and I don't dispute the characterization that a lot of the Israel administration look upon Palestinians as lesser people. Otherwise, they wouldn't. They drink. even look at the, the Ethiopian Jews and Yemeni Jews yeah, like I, less. I wouldn't dispute that. Um, I want to quote you mm -hmm. to, to end this. No, why would you end this? Not end this. We'll be talking for two hours. Why not? At some point we're we have having to end an this. amazing time. We can do another interview. <laughs> well, this one goes big. Um, I think this is a neat way to end it. He said, I actually believe there is a middle ground between everybody and they can meet. I direct my criticism for the extreme of each one of them. That was you, Bassam Yusuf. Mm -hmm. I, I agree with that. But I don't share your view there can never be peace in this region. Mm -hmm. I, I think there can't be with the current leadership structures in both countries or both places, but I definitely think you've got to be optimistic about peace. You just need to find people I, that can, I, I that hope can so. forge it. I hope so, but the reason... Listen... I refuse to come on my on your show when your producer first called me for the first interview mm. because I was scared I was afraid for me that was a career suicide because and and I have I, I'm talk, this is even important because you are someone who's always talked about like against cancel culture about like talking uh, speaking your mind out mm. speaking your mind yes. out I left Egypt and I came to America, the land of the free, the home of the brave, but I didn't know that there was a fine print said that you cannot speak about Israel. Mm. I have issue with that. Israel is a foreign country. They're allies, good. But you we can't speak make... about Israel. How many people lost their jobs? Even Bella Hadid, Bella Hadid, Bella mm. Hadid, she's, she, she Bella, oh, by the way, Bella she Hadid. She hasn't lost her job. No, she, no, but she's talked about death threats. She's mm. talking about like being silenced. Sure. And by the way, Bella Hadid is with us. She's Palestinian. And you know who else? Gigi Hadid, sisters. Yeah. I love the Hadid. They are with us. Yeah. Anyway, so... I know them both are very nice people. Yeah, but, but the thing is, if, if you are that high and you cannot speak about it, mm. and it's, it's not about... It's well, you like, can. You just have to have... Uh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. You, ha you can. I the, mean, I've spoken out about these issues, and you get shot at, not literally, but metaphorically, all day long on social media. But that shouldn't stop people from doing it. I'm just, like, wondering, as an American... You do. As an American... Yeah, but like, I, I'm doing now because, like, the first interview went well. Right. I'm doing that because I want people to see that you can really speak up and not just get cancelled but get rewarded. My career is going fine. Yeah. It's great because I want people to have the courage. Why are we, there should be no limits? I'm, I'm, I agree I'm, with I'm that. kind of like so, so confused as an American citizen why every American president, can, a presidential candidate, have to go and kiss the hand and bend the knees to APAC. Mm. This is a lobby that works for a foreign country interest. Why don't we have like a lobby for Saudi Arabia? It is they're giving us more money. You know the great thing? You can say that here. Yes. You couldn't say it in Egypt. That's why you're living here. Yes. Uh, but again, a lot of people feel the burn, the heat, whenever I, they yeah, come back. But down. if I was an American, I'd be going, oh, all right, Bassem. All right, we'll take the criticism because you can do that in this country. And I'm happy. When you criticize the government in your own country, yeah. they drove you out. Yes, and that's why I came to America, to play the white man's game, to actually to, to, to pass this acquired white privilege to my children. It's not, but the problem it's not just a country of am, white people. But, but, but here's the problem. And the white man's game, uh, the, uh, the game in America is not a white man's game. It's a game that actually 
has a democracy and believes in freedom of speech. But there are dog whistles everywhere. You're, you're not going to be put in jail for this interview. Or I can lose my career and I can lose jobs, and you know that. You, you could in, that. in Egypt, you could. No, here you can. In too. Egypt, they arrested here, you. Here you can. And they threatened you, and, and you would have probably ended up in prison here or you, dead. Here, a lot of people lost their jobs because they spoke up. It depends what they say. Of course, but again, if you're Kanye the, West and the, you spew anti-Semitic no, garbage, no, no, I'm not, no, I'm not, I'm, you're going to lose. I never, you're going to lose I, what I will, you have. I will never adopt that kind of point right. of view. But the thing is, there is dog whistles everywhere. Mm. As I told you at the beginning, you cannot just say it's like anti-Semite, anti-Semite. Like I mean, uh, now the, how, how come that the Palestinian flag? is outlawed by the way it's outlawed in, uh, in israel if you raise the Palestinian, you go to jail and now they're saying like the palestinian flag is a pro hamas no it's not a pro hamas mm. you know i was in i was in doing a comedy show in arizona and a guy was like wearing like a, a kofaya like a scarf and i took it and, and i'm not like in hyperbole and like mm. wearing symbols but i just thought it because like why are we at, uh, are we gonna uh, outlaw colors mm. and flags that is that, that that is absurd that is not right i don't i agree i don't think you should <laughs> but you should certainly outlaw Hamas. Regardless. They're already outlaw. I right. mean, I'm not supporting them. Because they're a them. terror group. Yeah. I'm, uh, okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. But the people with the power, the people who supposedly have the... And you should, by the way, I will say this, you should be able to criticise the Israeli government without being accused of yes. being anti-Semitic. But... I have in this interview repeatedly, and I'm not anti-Semitic. I just have a problem with all of what the Israeli government has been doing. I, and I have a problem with how any criticism to Israel by some circles mm. here are considered anti-Semite. This is not but some, fair. But, yeah, but a lot of the people doing it are actually anti-Semitic. Yes, but also a lot of Zionists mm. are against Israel that they hate the Jews. You know, the, it, 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 we've, it, we've discussed that. I want to yeah. end on a happy uh, but, but, but before that, I want to just like say two words about the media, which is, okay. uh, please. Sure. Uh, Mr. Zomlot, the Palestinian yeah. ambassador that you have, uh, this guy lost six members of his family mm. in an Israeli strike. Mm. And when he went on like some British news thing, he sat down and the, and, 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 and the, the, the lady told him, it's like, we are very sorry for a personal phone. Mm. I'm sure you don't condemn the killing of Israeli civilians. What? Mm. In the same moment. There's another girl like called Yara uh, Aid. She was like on Sky News. Mm. And, this, and the, the girl was like, Christ, like, I lost 30 members of my family, 17 of them are children, I lost my best friend. And then, the, what did you think would happen with is I mean, Forget about empathy. What, I think a lot of people, what about manners? Well, I think you have to start, I've said this repeatedly, you have to start from a place of humanity. You have yes. to look at what happened on October the 7th and feel utterly outraged and disgusted for the loss of human life. Yeah. And you also have to feel that for what's happening in Gaza to innocent people. But, but, but and if you don't, if you can't feel both in, for both sets of people, both sets of innocent people being killed, if you can't feel a sense of, of despair and horror over their deaths, you don't have any humanity. Believe me, Pierce, believe me, Pierce, it's not really about that. There's a deep sentiment in the Middle East, in Arabs, that the West do not look at us as equals. Well, you know what? So, so what it. I did, I went to the machines. Yeah. And I asked Chad GPT mm -hmm. simple questions. Mm -hmm. Do Israelis deserve to be free? And you know what they tell me? Yes, Israelis deserve the right like any other people. And then I asked the same question. Do Palestinians deserve to be free? And you know what they tell me? It is complex. It is a sensitive issue. Well, it's not complex. It's not sensitive. The Palestinian people should be free. Yeah, but and even should, the machines well, have... Let me finish. The, and they should have exactly the same rights yeah. to freedom and freedom of expression and a way to lead their lives and to water and to power and to yeah. internet that Israelis have and we have here in America and we have back in my home country of the UK. And I want that for the Palestinian people. We've got to end it there.